Hey everyone, it's Sam. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I went from this setup to this. Yes guys, today we are talking about lighting. How to light up your studio, your room, and we're going to show you guys how we did it with ours. So yeah, so as you guys can see in the studio, what is it? We already have everything pretty much set up for our lighting. And so I'm pretty sure what's it? we'll probably do like a wide shot or something so you guys can see. But yeah, we do have our key light, our practical light with our hair light. And was it a cool little window effect happening right over here? This is pretty much our setup for here at this um, location over here. Um, but yeah, guys, let me talk to you a little bit about these lights. Um, to kind of get started, we're going to start off with the key light. So was it your key light is the light that's going to be shining pretty much at a 45 degree angle from you. And mine is the Godox SL60W. Um, and it has the octagon kind of like softbox around it with the honeycomb grid. Um, and like I said, with that key light, I'm think I'm, you know, I'm pretty much just pretty close to me. You want your key light to be close to you. Okay, so that's at a 45 degree angle. And then from that, I have a practical light behind that, pretty much opposite from my key light. And I'm pretty much just lighting this up with an orange lamp that I got from Ikea. So <laughs> that's pretty much what I'm doing there. All right, so I usually like to keep my key light at a 45 degree angle, whether on the left or right. And then from there, the opposite side, I like to keep a practical light. And then a hair light, which is this blue kind of light coming right here, um, is kind is on a Yungo, was it light bar? That's I think like about four inches. And all I have it do, all I have is clamped on my shelf. So that was is pretty much my my hair light. And then if you notice, I have my banana right here too, and that's just adding a little bit more light. And with the practical light and that hair light, it really just helps to kind of illuminate the background and kind of help separate me from the background. Because without these lights. You know, pretty much it would look really, really dark and, you know, it would be really hard to see everything where it looks like this. So right now the background isn't being lit really well. Um, I, I'm kind of blending in. Obviously I'm wearing a white shirt and the white in the background. So I'm kind of blending in with everything and there's really not any depth into my, my footage right here. So when we add all these lights back on, you kind of, you say you can see now that was it there's a big uh difference and you know i'm kind of separate from my background a little bit um but yeah guys so again um uh, my practical light from ikea um i have just some small little neon sign with the, a blue little hair light using the Yungo uh light light bars that's about four inches um my key light is the godox sl um 60w and then the best thing is if you notice where the hair light and everything is that you see these kind of yellow streaks coming through um and that's actually my window right over here with the light coming through no i'm just joking okay actually <laughs> so we actually we have a mirror right over here along with a torch light and that torch light is actually shining into the mirror was and on the mirror we actually have gaffers taped up some portion of the mirror to where that it actually has this effect and now i'm just shining the light right into the mirror and then the mirror is being reflected right onto my backdrop and it gives that illusion that there's a window right over here where the sun is coming through when really my door is right over here but yeah so that's pretty much um a small little effect that you can do to really just add add a little add a little a little spice i guess to your to your um to your lighting um but yeah so that's pretty much what i do when it comes to lighting up my studio. So guys, like I said, I will put in the, in the description below a list of all of the equipment that I've used to actually set this up. Um, if you guys wanna go check it out, um, go do that. Um, if you guys want to, please like and subscribe um, to, um, to us. Um, it would mean a whole lot to me. Um, I'm still continuing my videography journey and I hope that I can continue it with you guys and hopefully we can create a community where we can just learn together and come together and just continue to learn. Um, but yeah, guys, leave a thumbs up. Let me know if I can do anything better. Um, just starting out, so I would love any tips or trips, tricks. So guys, thank you guys so much, but I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.